When Gramps materializes to lap up that little tasty treat, they can ask him why their heads are shaped like that. Player one, pick one. It's party time. Here comes number nine. All right, next up. There's something grim about this. 2,000 bucks riding on this one. Now help me out here. And when you know the answer, buzz in and type the answer. Ah, I'm trying to remember, who's that girl? No, her dad's dead, and she has an evil stepmom. Ah, she really would have loved those 1980s jelly shoes. She rides around in pumpkins, and she talks to mice. Ah, what is her name? Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. Cinderella. Isn't this a great story for young girls? If your feet are small enough, you'll marry a really rich guy. What do you say, player two? How about... Hey, Master Blaster! Won't you find an answer? It's ten! The category. The Bermuda Love Triangle. And 1,000 bucks is riding on this question. Guess what? You're going on vacation. Say you just signed up for the Bermuda Love Triangle Tour Package. The package includes three days and nights for you and two of your closest friends to visit the three hotspots that make up the Bermuda Triangle. Where will you be going? Bermuda, Aruba, and Jamaica. Bermuda, Kahlua, and Midori. Bermuda, Miami, and San Juan. Or Bermuda, the Aleutian Islands, and Honolulu. Go wild, player three. Bermuda, Miami, and San Juan are the three points of the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Hopefully you won't go down with your friends there. I said with. Halfway there, ten more questions coming at ya in round two. Ah, right, let me get some screws out here for you guys. Oh, heads up! Now remember, round two means double the value of the questions, which means more cash won or more cash lost. Let's go. Player three, what are we doing? And this category is Secretaries of the World Unite. This one's worth six grand. All right, here we go. If your secretary were a secretary bird, how might you be killed if you asked it to work weekends or pick up your dry cleaning? Bitten in half, kicked to death, pecked through both eyes, or sexually harassed to death? Bossy. Player one, player three, who wants it? Go for it, player one. Hey, baby, if I said you had a wrong answer, would you hold it against me? <laughs> player three, this baby's yours if you want. Player three, take it. No. Duh. Hmm, how about this one? The secretary bird kicks its prey until it dies. Oh uh, yeah, Nancy, can you come in here to take a memo? Player two, it's all yours. Twelve. The category is 20,000 leagues under the office pool. Pop a right answer, you got 4K. Okay, hang tight, put your fingers on your buzzers, here's the question. Say you find yourself trapped in the 1860s Jules Verne novel Paris in the 20th century. What future office device predicted in the novel can aid your escape? Correction fluid to delete the novel, a fax machine to fax a plea for help, a photocopier to make counterfeit money, or a stapler to ward off any enemies? Player two! Jules Verne predicted fax machines and computers and the electric chair. <laughs> So if the fax machine trick doesn't work, you still have another round. Choices. Take the elevator to 13. And we call this one, What the Hell Are You Talking About? This one's worth $4,001 bills. Get ready to fill in the blank. Okay, looks like it's time to pull out the weird diary I found in my kitchen the morning that I woke up with strange markings on my arms and crop circles in my front yard. The subjects enter a brightly lit temple with no windows. They trade circular discs for a chance to watch a small sphere spin inside the black and red dish. What game are the aliens describing?
case you're interested, here's the right answer. They're describing roulette. A common casino game. Red 22, you lost. Ow! Okay, we need... This one's gonna be very old and turning to the bottle. 4,000 bucks behind this one. Okay, time to peel your eyes, look at this picture, and tell me what would be the best name for this structure. Leaning Tower of Pisa, Leaning Tower of Lisa Lisa, Preening Tower of Pisa, or Leaning Tower of Mother Teresa. Player one, go nuts! The Weaning Tower of Pisa. Good job. Keep getting them right and you'll be the wiener. Player one, give me... I want your 15. This category is chicken or grubs and worms. And this one's worth $4,000. Get your fingers ready. Here's one coming at you. United Airlines invites you to fly the friendly skies. American Airlines loves to fly and it shows. Which airline would have the slogan, fly with the only mammal that can? Batty Airlines, Dodo Airlines, Looney Airlines, or Silly Cow Airlines? Dodo Airlines? Ah, <laughs> you must be their president. <laughs> player one, player two, it's up. <laughs> Go for it. Loons can fly high above water and dive to catch fish up to 200 feet below the surface. But it doesn't make them a mammal. <laughs> Pla <laughs> player one. A few mammals can glide, but only the bat can truly fly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Batty Airlines service is great. It's just that all they have are red-eye flights. All right, player. Okay, coming up, this category is 9021. Uh-oh. We are talking four big ones. Hang on tight, because here we go. Which of the following declarations by Beverly Hills High student Brenda Walsh contains the correct use of the word affect or effect? Killing Steve will have a great effect. Brandon's smile affects me. I want to go for it, player three. No, but Dylan's thing for Kelly would affect a long scene with trendy alternative music where Brenda mopes around trying to pick up another guy. Player one, player two, who wants it? Go for him, player one. Wrong, and make sure it's with girls you know, Brenda, or you could wind up with a nasty affection. <laughs> player two, you <laughs> Player two. Brenda's being grammatically correct. <laughs> but she's also talking about incest, which is disgusting, morally outrageous, and grounds for the highest ratings ever. And this question's category is, oh no, two G's for a right answer. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. It's Halloween, and you're trick-or-treating when you come upon a jack-o'-lantern with a cat of nine tails and a tam-o'-shanter. What are you looking at? A pumpkin with a deformed cat and a stick, a pumpkin with a mustache and a kilt, a pumpkin with a whip and a hat, or a pumpkin with a sex toy and a drum. Go wild! The screw's in your court, player two. A pumpkin with a whip and a hat. And I strongly advise against bobbing for apples at that household. Hey, player three, in wrestling, we call this a reversal. 